Just getting rolling this morning. Got us a nice mink here and a fish stick. Uh, we'll see exactly. Oh yeah. Nice buck mink and a fish stick there, guys. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we are pulling this water line today here. I right, see we got one coon floating right there. <coughs> we got another one floating right over there somewhere. Right there, that dark blob right there. So, another double. Well, guys, looks like someone was trying to steal my mink and couldn't get the thing out of there. So that's mink number 30. Uh, whether it was a person or another animal, I really don't know. Glad to have him though. Just an interesting situation. It's always got to be something, doesn't it? Things can never just go exactly how you want them. Dang gum drawstrings are in the way again. And one of my cable drowners here. Um, I think I said it yesterday, but if I didn't, I'll say it again. Um, we're pulling this today, both front feet too. You weren't going very far, mister. Well, he's got no white on him at all. Wrap up the old cable drowner here. This trap produces two mink and two muskrats. The other one, I think, did a muskrat and a coon. So, for this grassy creek, uh, I didn't really set it for coon anyways. I set it because I got to go buy it anyways. I'm glad it produced us some some critters so really deep in here so I gotta kind of watch myself oh let me guess this one's not gonna want to come out as easy oh boy hold on guys things might get a little western here oh boy and wolf fangs really Holding that bottom. Ooh. We got it. Really liking these cable drowners so far. One thing I've learned though for next year, make these wood stakes shorter. Them suckers hold like no other. We'll be getting down the road. I just kind of had to turn the camera on for this one. If I can get my puller in my pocket look at this beast no tail on him <laughs> that's a monster oh, got my trap locked up too yeah just want to show you guys another monster coon there guys i am shaking right now i gotta pull this trap first we have a huge i think it's a cinnamon coon over there he's still alive for some reason must have just got caught this morning he is holy cow hold on you guys just be patient with me i'm losing my mind right now hold on let me get this one pulled and we'll head over there i have not caught a color face coon in so long it's literally been since I was catching a hundred coon a year when I was a kid. It's been that long since I've caught a true color face. Oh, now he jumped in the water, you big dummy. Now he's not gonna be pretty for you guys. He was sitting there. We'll go over here and take a look. Oh, can you guys see that? Look at that coon. That is amazing. And it's big too. Wow. I'm gonna get him dispatched here and we'll take a look at him towards the end of the day. That is absolutely awesome. That made my whole day. I do not care what happens the rest of the day. That coon right there makes my whole day. That is incredible. Well, well, well. This bridge was baffling me all week. I hadn't caught a thing. We got a muskrat there. Let's see if we got anything else. What do you know? We got we finally got the mink. I knew there had to be one in here. 
Awesome. Third mink of the day. Having a heck of a day, guys. I really... <laughs> you can't beat that cinnamon coon. I I just did the math. I caught a blonde, a blonde coon years and years ago. And I've caught over 6,000 coons um, up to this point until I got another true color face. That's just crazy to me. We don't have many of them in my area. Um, pretty rare, obviously. Those numbers alone should tell you they're pretty daggum rare around here. Very happy to have him. This trap here is empty. Got to be careful not to sink up my waist in mud. Okay. We'll go take a look. It looks like a pretty, pretty nice muskrat over there. Um, I'm almost really welcoming muskrats in my pocket sets now. I think I've caught four or five. I believe this makes four or five muskrat mink doubles. So, guys, I'm going to get that cinnamon coon all dried out. Show you guys what he really looks like at the end of the video. Because when he was sitting up there on the bank all dry, just chilling, there's nothing wrong with the drowner. He just didn't want to go down. Um, when I seen him sitting up on the bank, he was gorgeous, and I started losing my mind. There's those two. All right, Mr. Muskrat. Let's see. Our other trap over there is empty, so pull up. Oh yeah, that's not a bad rat at all. Got him by the whole front shoulder there. Not too bad. I'd have to double check and look. I'm not sure how many rats we've caught this year now. Uh, been pretty good so far though, to be honest with you. Better than normal. I mean, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to go light up a bunch of muskrats. I just catch them accidentally in my pockets or occasionally if I run some colonies. I'm um, in some random cricks while I'm coon trapping. Uh, that's just kind of how I catch mine. We just don't really have that many around anymore. Hopefully that'll turn around now that we got a whole bunch of water. Hopefully the water remains consistent and we can hold good water for a couple of years and really, really get some muskrats back. But it's mother nature. You just never know. Anyways, guys, you can see how slick these no BS drowning systems are. Just roll them right up. It's pretty, pretty simple. They're really nice. They stack really nice. I like them. We'll be getting down the road. I think. Hold on. Do we have a double on mink here? There's one. This bridge has not caught any mink yet. These sets have been plugged up with coons every single day. There's one. Boy, this is sure looking like another one. It is. Heck yeah. Double on mink here, guys. Absolutely. Sweet. Day's going awesome, guys. We'll get these traps pulled and get down the road. Alrighty. Of course, I just took my GoPro off because I took my hoodie off and I was getting hot. And I come down here and we got us a mink and a coon. Mink number six for the day. Sweet. Oh well, guys, we got a whole bunch, <coughs> whole bunch going on under this bridge. We got a floater coon here. Let's see what we got? Nothing in this one. Then we got two more coon across the creek. So nice triple on pull day. Guys, I was just standing here, just looking. I'm like, okay, that one's empty. And I was looking for my trap right below me. 
There's a giant mink sitting in it. That's why I couldn't see the trap right there. Sweet. Oh, big, big mink. That might be the biggest one of the year yet. Holy cow. We are lighting them suckers on fire today. Now that we finally got the, the coon stand out a little bit anyway, giving the mink a chance to get to the traps, which is awesome. Also, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but um, when you're carrying four of these chain drowners, they're not exactly light. So <laughs> carrying mink is a lot nicer than carrying coons out of here. That I can promise you. I am, I'll be honest with you, I'm hurting pretty bad. Pulled a lot of traps today. There's a toe. Dang it. This bridge has been good though. I think we took uh, 12 or 13 coon under this. Uh, muskrat, I believe that's the second mink we've got down here. It's been pretty good. I know this past spring I caught a couple beaver down here too. So It's a good one. I'm really loving this new area. Definitely plan on spending a lot of time in my future in this area. Come on. There we go. Only problem with it is it's kind of seems to be a lot of people driving around it here on the weekends, which I do not like. Um, actually, if it was up to me, I wouldn't trap on the weekends at all. I just hate how many people are out driving around looking for someone to just let all their anger from the week out on. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Well, that's all right. That's why I love trapping in the water. For the most part, people leave me the heck alone when I'm under a bridge. Either that or they know what I'm doing because I'm at the bridge, so either way, I like it for that fact. And the mink, and the coons, and everything else. That might be top of the list, is the fact that no one bothers me under the bridges. Oh boy! Some other ones pulled out nicely. Not so much this one. Pull that baby up. There we go. Just rolling up chain all day, guys. I left out way too many traps hoping to have another good day. Um, which we're having a pretty good day. It just hurts to pull this many. We'll be getting down the road. Alrighty. I just pulled this coon out of these two traps here. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit for those of you who do not live in Iowa about just how ridiculous our population is and how I can do what I do. So, I thought we had two over here. Hey, there's just one. Could have swore there was two. Um, maybe it is just the one. Heck, I don't know. But anyways, I don't think there's a coon on this one. But this location, in four checks of four traps, has caught 13 coon and a possum. And if I stayed here longer, I'd probably catch more. Um, that's just kind of how many coons we have. There's so many of them. I've had a lot of people ask, well, do you think in years past you're hurting the population? No. I think by killing them, you actually make them, make the population as a whole healthier. Got a wad of grass with nothing in it. That is interesting. That's the first miss at this location, I will say that. Interesting. No toe or nothing. Yeah, some of these bridges guys, like I got one 
it's got the chance to go 15 out of 16 today uh, it's had it had three on the first check when we didn't do that good and then it's had four both checks since then we'll see what it holds today we'll be there here within an hour or two anyway we'll find out all right Let's see if i can't get this stake pulled up out of here boy oh boy those wood stakes really hold that's right stake i'm tougher than you that's one thing i get really caught up on when pulling traps i have a lot of times where i try and be tougher in the earth and boy she lets she teaches me some lessons sometimes Boy, that's a jumbo boar there holy cow those are the ones we're looking for holy smokes this is one of the few bridges we never caught any mink at on this chunk up here pretty interesting but we get down the road okay the very next bridge here which has also been very good to us two more floaters perfect if you guys can't tell i'm getting it i'm getting kicked today man i might have to actually get some sleep tonight that's unfortunate get this pulled up here maybe Let's see what we got for a coon oh wow that baby's in there good thing i brought my puller uh, i had justin from a and j make me this little puller a couple years ago and it's a hand saver no doubt about that makes it a lot easier to get those out if you can't do it by hand i probably could have got it by hand but i probably would either rip my gloves or tore up my hands so i'd rather just have that little little tool there it works pretty good get this baby wrapped up right there all right this other one looks pretty good size we'll see see that state came out nice the rest of them in here not so much oh. yeah this looks like a big big one here by three toes didn't stand a chance out in that deeper water did you wow the sow's bigger than the boar that's kind of crazy Get this baby wrapped up here quick i'm trying to keep water off the camera the best i can if there's some videos today with some water on the camera i apologize uh whipping up and twisting up them drowners tends to sling some water so when we get down the road i think i see some fur and i think it's another daggum mink that would be the the fourth mink out of this bridge hold on a second let me pull this drowner oh. and we'll head over there that'll be the fourth mink at this spot I, I could have swore i was sitting over there had a big coon over there on the other side of the bridge I'm like man that little hump looks a lot like a tuft of fur sticking out of the water sure enough oh come on Whew. that tool is such a lifesaver guys i can't even begin to tell you if you trap in the water I don't know how you do it without a pull bar or something like that. It has been a game changer for me anyways. All right, set that drone right there. Let's go get mink number eight for the day. It's probably the small female in here. 
Yeah, it is. The other three were all bucks. So, we finally got the female in here. Little, little, bitty, bitty female. That's all right. That's make number, oh boy, eight for the day. So, can't complain. We'll get this pulled and get down the road. All righty, guys. Just down here pulling coons out of traps. Uh, ended up three coons. I got this one I got to get out yet. We got another mink. This is one of the minkier looking bridges. I was in disbelief I hadn't caught one here yet. My traps have been full of coons here though. I think we've caught, I don't know, at least 10 coons here. Maybe 12, something like that. Uh, it just looks minky. It's really deep in here. I think the beaver's got a dam in here somewhere. There's something going on. Something going on that makes this bridge a lot deeper than the other one. But it's been good on the coons. There's no doubt about that. This whole line really has perfect catch on that guy. Float him up there. You know, I was perfectly satisfied with eight mink. Now that we're at nine, now I want one more. What the heck's wrong with me? There's coon number three. There's a little bowl up in there. I just toss all the coons up in that bowl while I'm doing my sets here. Works pretty slick. Let's see what we got for a mink. I can pull this by hand. Okay. You gonna play nice, Mr. Mink, and come out of there easily or not? That wasn't too bad, actually. Let's see if it's a buck or a female. Big buck. Sweet. Got a, uh, let's see, back foot catch on him. Uh-oh, I'm gonna lose my mate. Yeah, that's a tank. That's a 20 inch stake. That's a nice make. Probably gonna have to take two trips in and out of this one. I'll be completely honest. I don't like being a two trip guy, but three coons of mink, four traps. That's probably a two tripper. So nice, nice. Triple on coon, a nice mink. We'll be getting down the road. All right, guys. We just got back home here today. I uh, came home with 53 coons, which is awesome. Uh, it's a solid day. Nothing, nothing fantastic, um, but a good solid way to finish off that line. 53 coons. Um, there's 52 of them sitting on this rack here. And now I'll show you guys the one that matters most. We got them all dried out absolute beautiful cinnamon and he's big too big big cinnamon coon uh then we got our nine mink and our muskrat there so we're up to 37 mink on the year and then for the coons we're up to 1157 i believe so been a heck of a year we got this water line pulled we're setting a completely new one tomorrow uh I'm so happy with this color phase, guys. You have no idea. It took me over 6,000 coons from the last color phase I caught to this one. Now, they just don't come around very often in my area. Now, definitely one of the coolest catches that I've had in my life so far. Just awesome. Awesome day, guys. We got to get skinning, though. So, thanks for watching, and until next time.